There is a new trail on Mount Knopolis. It's called the Eye of the Wombat. Rated a blue square, it's all flow and some tech. Very narrow and all single track. Now let's get into riding. So we're actually going to be walking this trail today, the Eye of the Wombat. Because I don't have a bike to ride for once, which is a bit odd. But, you know, I can't do anything about that because I need to sell my bike at the moment. So this is a blue trail. Um, one thing I should say is that this trail isn't designed for people to walk in, so don't actually do what I'm doing at the moment. Um, I'm doing something a little bit risky, but I shouldn't, I shouldn't be doing this, but I just kind of have to do it because I need to film this video. Anyway, so don't actually, don't actually walk down here, just um, only ride this trail. I'm just, I'm just walking down here so I can record the video. I don't have my backup bike, my main bike, and I'm getting that ready to sell. So when it is up for sale, I'll let you guys know and you guys might be able to buy it. Coming down here, it's quite slippery. This is a drop here, um, so it goes off down there and you land in there. So you can do that, but it's a bit of a sketchy line. I recommend doing that with a dual suspension, with a full suspension if you want to do it. Um, it's quite, it's not big, but it's just, it, it's just sketchy to do it on a hard shell, I'd say. I mean, you probably could do it, I mean, you probably do it on any bike, to be honest, but. Again, nothing, it's, it just wouldn't be, like, you know, safe to do it on anything but a full suspension. Alright, so I'm making my way down here, and it is quite narrow, this trail. So you guys just gotta be, just gotta be a bit careful when coming down here, because it is quite narrow. Now, the road here, a bit steep coming down here, so I've gotta run down here without falling over. Let me keep walking up to the next section here. Over these rocks here. Walking down here. Over this berm. More like a hump. It is quite, it is quite shaly coming along here. It's also quite dusty, but it might Conditions do change depending on the weather, you know. That, that, that's probably how most trails run actually from being on them. Now I'd like, like to take a moment to let you guys know about Cat Vo and Co. I'm, a, I'm an ambassador for them. Um, and you guys probably know that already. If you guys, if you guys have been following, but if you're new here, I'm an ambassador for Cat Vo and Co. Oh, I need to roll my ankle there. And you can get 30% off discount code with using the code Adam Lipscomb 30 they'll be coming up on the screen just now and there'll obviously be a link to it in the description for you to visit them. Uh oh motorbikes have been down here. <laughs> anyway I know that because the tread patterns in those ruts there those tread patterns are a lot wider and knobblier than mountain bike tires, although I might be wrong though. They might actually be mountain bike tires, but for all I know, I think they might be motorbikes, but I can't do anything about that. It's not my issue. You just gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> now it might be a bit longer. You probably actually, you probably do this trail in about maybe five minutes. Oh, and let me just wait a second. Roll this here, you can roll this. Get some speed for this sketchy step up here, which is going to be really sketchy because if you case it, well, that's goodbye tires, you're going to get a pinch fight on that one. And it's also sketchy earnings. Anyway, you can roll it if you want to. Um, yeah, so, that's what I'm going to say. Um, anyway, oh yeah, so this trail you probably do it in about five minutes or so, but for me, walking might take me about ten. But anyway, who knows, they might actually get, get, get this done sooner. Um, 
I went down here, and then, oh, this is the uh, creek gap here. Roll this roller, not a creek gap, and then you can sort of bunny hop over this thing here, over that rock there. Coming down here, nice little catch berm coming down here, right down there, and then making our way down here. It's quite rutted out, and it's really dusty, if I've noticed. I mean, it, has, it hasn't rained in maybe about five days, but before that it was raining heaps. Anyway, ooh. oh, we're coming up to this section now. All right, so there's a, there's a couple of, couple of um, lines here you can take. So you can either go down to the right down here. This is the B line. I mean, I'd say it's probably a B line, if I'm honest. Yeah, I'd say it's a B line. Oh my god, I'm gonna roll my ankle over everything here. It's probably, it's probably actually a beeline, if I'm honest. And then you come down here. And go down there. I actually just noticed there's three different lines. There's direct, easy, beeline. So there's beeline, A line, it's a direct route. I was going, I was going to the A line. Here, all pretty shaly. You can hear it really well. And then you can come in this awesome slick rock here. Like it's just, it's not quite not slick rock, but like you know, it's just, it's just cool to see like some sort of slick rock in orange, you know. Like you're never going to find any. I don't think there's any other trail in Orange, like Mount Canobolis or Lake Canobolis or Mullion Creek. I'll, I'll just get to Mullion Creek. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think there's any other slick rock. I actually might be, um, think for memory, there's probably actually one area on Jack's, Jack's or Switchbacks, one of those two areas, where it actually does kind of get a bit slick rocky. Actually, no, there's one definite place where I don't know that is. On a crazy track, there is actually a bit of slick rock, if I'm being honest. Just for memory, there is, there is actually slick rock. I do remember, it's, it's actually, you kind of can't ride it if, it, if it's, if it's been raining, then you can't actually ride it. Because it's just like really, um, it's, it's just too wet because after it's rained. So that can't, can't happen. And also, it's just, it's just, um, it's just behind those trees that have fallen down as well. I actually bumped on that the block that's just there. If I saw it. Oh, here's that hip as well. Yeah, coming up here, you can come up here and sort of hip into that landing on the left there. Hmm. Keep walking. And then here, oh, I was going to tell you that I'm actually, I'm now an affiliate. I'm an affiliate for Muckoff now. So if you guys want some Muckoff stuff, um, I'm not too sure if you guys can get a discount code, but just, you guys can check out um, Muckoff and link in the description there. If you guys want to help out the channel, it'd be much appreciated. If you click on one of the links down at the bottom, it'll take you to a Muckoff um, page where you can get a variety of products. I'm not It'd be either a link to a specific product or a link to a specific general page. Um, so coming down here, we're nearly, we're nearly at the end of the track. Um, coming down here, and hmm, I thought there was a, a, there was a distinct feature at the bottom here, which I don't remember. But some trees, uh, some burnt trees, which you roll over. I can't remember where it is. This is actually the only part of the entire track where you sort of have to go up. But you can carry your speed, because if you carry your speed properly going down through that section there, you'll be able, you'll be able to make it up that sort of little hilly bit there without pedalling. And there's one thing to take into account is when you're running the track, is there'll be a lot of um, thistles on the side uh, here and there. There's a lot of, um, not really thistles, but it can be sort of blackberry. Blackberry thistles, is that, that's what it is. 
but there's also a lot of plants as well. That's what it is. And over here, a little rock section here. We already call it a rock garden this section, so it's not really rocky enough to be called a rock garden. Sort of a little rock pattern. You probably could call it a rock garden, but I don't, I don't really know. Coming down here, got a few other sections. Maybe a bit jump more into that engine the section there. So then, uh, nose bonk that little log there. Um, I don't know how fast this, how fast you can really do it in five, five minutes of track. I'll either record on Strava. You might better do it. Me and my, yeah. Yeah, can't talk today. You might be able to do it in three minutes, if I'm honest. If you're fast enough. But I think you probably, if, on, on, on average, you'll probably do it in five minutes. It's all track. I'm walking, so it might take ten. But don't actually walk this track. I'm, I know I'm doing the wrong thing by walking down it, but ooh, the tabletop here. Small little table. So scrub it if you wanted to. Ugh. I know I'm doing the wrong thing by walking down the track, but I've got to film it. But the only people who are allowed down here are mountain bikers. The so people on bikes, pretty much. Um, if, if you want to walk down a track, or some sort of other vehicle, or some other trail, uh, go down Galambanya. Uh, we did that last third week. Ah, here it is. Ah, uh, yeah, so there's a little launch here. You can come up here off this little thing here, it would be quite sketchy and then land down into there right, let's keep moving there's my hand there, ooh, I just slip off uh, keep walking down here, just over there's that little gap there That'll be, that's quite a committing gap actually it's quite committing, because if, if you don't get it right, you're going into the trees there baby pines coming up here and we're nearly at the end Giveaway, road right ahead. Everyone knows that road there. And then, come out here. And you're out to the road. So make, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'd like to mind you to pinch everything, ride everything, and shred everything.